Hey everybody, so it's Farrell. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, huh? I'm sorry, I took a little bit of a break. Um, job, holiday season retail is no joke. And usually I'm not around for the holiday season because I'm in school. But right now I am and oi, oi. But I have a bunch of new stuff I want to show you. So this is going to be, and I've tried it all out. So this is a first impressions video. And I kind of want, you know, to kind of tell you some stuff and everything. First thing, I got a box from Influencer. It was the Maybelline Vox Box. It contained the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express uh, Mascara and the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Liquid Liner. So, this helps explain some things I've seen on YouTube. I've seen quite a few people on YouTube using this mascara even though this is not the mascara they normally use, but it's always in the videos. Specifically, Jackie Aina. So, obviously, this is promotion. This is not because she likes it, and but she's still using it. I say next month if she's still using it, then we'll consider that she actually likes it. So the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara is a mascara like this thick, chunky wand. Um, it's extra clumpy. It's it's made to cl to clump your lashes, but I've been in the clumpy lashes lately, so I've been using it. You just gotta kind of go over the same area a couple times to unclump, and you're good. It's got really a weird like spiky pattern to it, versus the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Liner. You guys, just like the last liner I got, it's another fucking gimmick liner, and I hate gimmicky liners. That is what actually irritates me. Mascara, gimmicky mascara I can deal with. Gimmicky liners are annoying because it goes, it's got to be dragged along your delicate eye area and put lines in precise places. And this is not as precise as it thinks it is. The best thing about it is this tiny tip is easy to get right behind my lashes and on my lash line. But it's so, the felt tip's so hard it just drags and it's kind of painful to put on liner. So I wouldn't go out and buy this. But if you want a liner that's going to really get to your lashes, like you're behind your lash line, this is it. However, I did not wing with this liner. This liner was winged with um, the Kat Von D tattoo liner, which is still like my good standby. And But the lash, the mascara, fine. This, I don't even know why we even keep doing this. It's just going to be another liner that's going to go into my drawer of liners that I used to fill my liner with after placing on the Kat Von D tattoo liner because that's how I roll. Next, I did grab the Jackie Ina X Artist Couture Collab in Le Bron, Le Bronze. It is a rose gold loose highlighter. First things first, if you don't like glittery particles in your air, this is not for you. I have to do it like I do my powder where I kind of mush the brush and kind of get it all into the brush. So that way it's not loose when I go and actually place on the highlighter and it doesn't, because if you just dip it and place it on, you get like a glob of highlight. You want to kind of dip, smush around, and then lightly layer it like you would do a powder one. And I really like this mascara. I just also think that it's a mascara that has, I mean not a mascara, I really like this highlighter. It has a lot of potential. If you're a lighter person, like very light, this is a nice really glowy blush if you're into that. Also you can use it on your eyelids. It has a lot of purpose. I can wear it as a highlighter. It's a little very, it's very deep. It's still very deep, but it's a really, really, really pretty highlighter and it's so, so nice. I like it way better than her e.l.f. collab, even though that one also came with a rose gold shade, which I actually really love. It's, it really is touching the fact that I actually do like secretly like rose gold. However, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the rest of the set because I gifted it all away. I don't really need more highlighter and I told you guys that. So this was mostly to buy this one limited, currently limited edition shade. It's supposed to be getting restocked. There's a pre-order restock before Christmas and then the like pre-orders before Christmas. And for sure it's back on the 30th of December with Artist Couture and still in the set. If you get the set and you really just want this shade, just gift the other ones as late Christmas gifts or birthday gifts to other people, which is what I did. So that way you're not ending up with a thousand new things. This is just easier. Next, eyeshadow. I was at Sephora and I was talking to a Kat Von D rep. Her name's Kate. She's super duper sweet. We talked a little bit about the pastel goth palette that's coming out. Basically, expect, expect pastels. 
I, I mean, she wasn't. She didn't show me it. She just we were just talking like you know non-specifics about it. But she says it's really really pretty. And she says if you're into if you're a black girl and you're into pastels, then it, and you already wear them and you're into them, you'll like it. But if you aren't really into it or feel like they just look ashy on you, you're probably not gonna like this palette. And we did discuss one of the last brown girl friendly palettes I've seen from Calvin D, which is the Serpentina palette. It is a palette with eight eyeshadow shades and a pigment and a very long deep packaging we all seen this palette before i just got it because like i really did actually like this palette and i really wanted it and then i let it go because i was like it's limited edition you don't really need it but now that i have it i actually really like it shades like queen and high you can use this palette though by itself without actually having to like dip into other palettes the only thing i pair it with is the shade dirty from Luxie Beauty just as a base shade slash like blending out smoothing shade but otherwise this probably can be used all by itself all over your eyes if you're really into like doing color some days I normally don't do color you guys know I'm like all boring classic I usually I only do matte looks right now I'm wearing some shimmer on the lid and it's a little light and I look a little too classic for my liking but this palette really gets me out of my comfort zone. Obviously, we've all heard that the shade Venom is kind of a dud. It's a nice purple, but it's so blue-gray that I actually kind of just feel like I wish it had been warmer. It kind of so cool that it's not really nice. And then Blood Milk, which was the one everyone expected to be really nice, and it ended up being kind of washed out red. It reminds me of Enigma from the... Um, from the rust stack no from the dark matter stack from melt cosmetics that was really pretty the shimmers though are on point with everybody being pretty damn gorgeous shades i haven't really got a chance to use are like medusa and i believe nile and that's just because i haven't really grabbed them yet i use scarab which is like a nice green aqua teal green aqua color and a lot of people actually gave me compliments on wearing it i also have not used a pigment called profit yet it's not that i don't want to i just haven't really i'm not a pigment person when i use pigments i turn them into liners so i will do that probably tomorrow or something i'll turn it into a liner and i'll probably have it on instagram but i grabbed this and i'm actually happy because i, I keep wanting to have like one cap on d palette I should have kept, but like my Monarch, I just had too many light shades. This palette, I think, can, is going to have the best chance of staying with me because there's no colors that I feel like they, they look ashy or wash me out or make me feel too cool toned. I really like that this gives me that option to like just go bold with color one day every now and then. And finally, last but not least, got to show you this. This is the new Luxie Aurora's 2 collection that's coming out on December 30th at 11 a.m. CST, so that's Central Standard Time. This is, and it's in the new, soon to be coming into like March, I think, Luxie 12 Well palette. This is, these are so fucking pretty. Let's start there. Like, and look at this mirror. Like, compare this to like the long ass Serpentina, right? Serpentina, Luxie. Looks he got you on fleek with this mirror though, for real. I can see my whole face in it. And that's just that's just a palette. I can't show you the cover, it's super duper top secret, greatness and shit. Um I showed you the bottom on accident for a second. I was like, oops, I wanna show you the bottom, I wanna show you the top. These do not come in the palette. You can buy the whole set for $60 or each shadow is five dollars, just like how Looks he always does collections. So all of the shades here are duochrome gorgeousness. I am wearing this shade all over my lid. It's like a pink and then it also has like a gold and it's really pretty. And then I'm wearing this highlight brow color is this one's called Peachy Keen and this one's called Space Case. These are so gorgeous. Immediately I have like favorites out of Ultraviolet, Peachy Keen, Space Case. This coppery one, which I think might be called Aura, this purple black and glitter. Um, I kind of like this one too, but I felt like it was too blue for today. But they're all really fun. Uh. Like this one look, makes me think of, what's it called? Like, I don't even know, dude. Like, they're so, like, look at that uh. shit. Like, it, blue, pink, green. What the fuck? Uh. 
Um, if you like like fancy, really well lit swatches, definitely check out Angela Mary Tanner on Instagram. She takes them in amazing lighting. Um, I'm really shitty with lighting and taking photos. I'm more, I'm better at actually like explaining concepts and doing reviews. But these are really pretty. They're a little bit powdery. That's a Luxie um, shimmer formula, especially their dual chromes. They kind of vary in between this and ColourPop feel. So I actually like that they're a little more powdery this time because I'm more I'm used to that kind of formula. But this palette is gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys like the final packaging on the front so you guys can see like exactly how pretty it is. But when I show you that, I'm going to show you guys with my favorite Luxie shades. I'm going to show you a palette of 12 of what I believe are the top 12 Luxie shades you need in a palette for everyday glam, glow, gorgeous wear every single day. If you feel like that's, but if you feel like you don't need all those shades, that's fine. Um, but definitely I want you guys to kind of have the opportunity to see some of my favorite shades from the brand. And that is everything new that I have to show you guys. I am going to stay. This month is going to have a couple more videos. I'm going to have my top skincare. I'm going to have top, you know, top everything of the year. So, and I am still going to do my winter favorites, but I'm also going to be doing my top skincare. I mean, my top, my top of 2016. I'm trying to give them all more humus, ca humus, humorous category names so that we don't get bored. Like, this is my favorite highlighter. And this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. We're not going to do that. We're doing underdog of the year. Why are you here of the year? Comeback kid of the year? If you have like an idea for some kind of like t awesome title like those, like something you want to see that has like a title like that, like for whom were you created of the year? Please, please, please leave that down in the comment section. I will do that because that is going to be fun as shit to film. I want like, I know, I can't think of all the categories because I'm like, I, I don't know, like whack ass product of the year, whack ass brand of the year, brand that just needs to stop and reconsider their life decisions to least. Sometimes, guys. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry I haven't been gone. I've been kind of busy, busy, working money so I can buy more makeup. Also, I should have some makeup geek shadows probably moldering on my porch right now, so I'm gonna go find them. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, you should go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let everybody know that who comes to this video, that this video is bomb as shit. And then you should go ahead and subscribe to me. I'm not gonna tell you that bell notification, but if you do, then you'll know when I post, so that way you don't have to wonder, like, when is this bitch posting? And furthermore, you should go ahead and just let your friends know. Share the video. If you think you know me in real life, you probably do. And you can go ahead and share it too. I wish you would. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will see you next time. And I will see you guys with some more like um, in-depth videos on some of the stuff I showed you today. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye.